Now, if there was someone completely beginner that, okay, let's take someone that finished the smart contract hacking course. So he has some knowledge about uh, solidity about DeFi protocols, ERC20, 721, re-entry C attacks, some Oracle manipulation attacks, and he want to get started with auditing contest. What would be like the, the best tips that you could give him? Um, like if you can like, I don't know, two or three tips. So I think um, audit contest specific tip would firstly be to focus on one contest at a time and for as long as a duration you can because like I mean for myself I personally experienced the in-chain thing where I did this and then my results grew exponentially but I think a lot of people when you first start out in audit contests you see like three contests at the same time and the, the natural inclination is to think that if you participate in three contests and you spend like three days on each you should have a higher chance of finding a high paying bug because like your overall price pool of contests you participated in is like larger. And then there's also the aspect of like FOMO, fear of missing out, where you, you're doing like a 100k contest and then like a 1 million one comes out and then you're like, oh no, I have to do that one now. But with the way how of how like audit contest works, like cause, because the formula prioritizes rare bugs, if you find a rare bug or a unique bug, it will give you like way more a higher way higher payout i would suggest focusing on like the one contest at a time for its entire duration to try to find everything you can and this also like makes a lot more sense if you look on like the longer term horizon where you want to branch from contests into let's say private audits or you want to work to go to like an audit firm you can't be hopping from odd audits to audits and spending three days on each if you're doing a private audit or you're doing like a uh, audit in a firm so it, it makes a lot of more sense to focus on the contest itself and yeah that's my first tip to just spend as much time on one contest on one contest itself. focus on one can contest and obviously your chances to to gain to get better results is when there are a lot of contests simultaneously but don't be tempted to jump from one to another finish one and only when it's over move to another one very good tip okay. exactly yeah i mean another thing is that when if you look at all the past contest reports the chances i don't think there's ever been a case or there's very very rarely been a case where a single auditor no matter how like godly he is has found every single bug in a contest so if you are doing a contest and you think that you found everything right you should just know that statistically it's like a 0.01% chance that you have actually found everything there's probably something yes. you have missed just based yes. on stats alone so you can like just keep looking at the code base okay but but at a certain point it becomes like redundant because you really have no idea what else is missing but this is like something else to keep in mind also so the second tip I would say is to don't believe that a uh, code base is completely bug free like we've seen recently at, on Immunify especially protocols huge protocols like uh, Balancer Morpho I think another one would be Ajna AJNA they've gone through like many many different audits, audits. huge number of audits and they're huge protocols so you would think that they are completely bug free if you like Ashna especially they went through like four audit contests I think two on Sherlock and two on two on Code Arena so you think that they are completely bug free at this point but then the reality is that they all got a bug reported on Immunify in the end so the idea is you should always think that there is a bug to be found you know matter how secure you think the code base is so because this is like in CTFs, if you, you definitely know that there is something to be found. That's why you keep looking and you don't give up and you just keep looking until it gets found. But then in audit contests, I don't see why the same mindset cannot be applied. So you should always have this mindset that you have you can find something and there is something to be found. That like in, that like increases your chances of actually finding something based on like psychology, uh, but yeah, I like this one. I like this one. Yeah, it's a very good one. Because if you believe like, 
oh, there is no way I'm going to find something. Oh, this code is so complex. You're only starting with like a minus points, both your motivation and, you know, your mind is like closed. You're like, yeah, this, this looks secure. But if you come from a mindset, damn, there is a bug here. I'm sure I just need to find it. Then it's a completely different game. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's the point. You must sort of, sort of cliche, but if you don't believe, then if you don't believe that you can find a bug, then you're probably not going to find a bug. But if you do believe, then like your chances does increase a lot because you just keep searching and searching. So yeah, this is my second tip. I think the last one that I have, what was I going to say? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. The last, the last tip that I have is like be, um, patient. I would say because patience. success, like in getting results, doesn't really come overnight. Especially when in the space that we're in, like everyone is posting on Twitter, oh, I got like 1,000. The FOMO is real. I find like 10 bucks. And then if you find suddenly especially next day you people, open him. Especially people that are watching this video now and see that you made 44K in like one contest that lasted 10 days. Like, oh my God. <laughs> the, the FOMO is real of a lot of people. Yeah, I mean like even even like with the, the point where I am, like having decent success, sometimes I still experience FOMO. You see like, even if I post this guy got 1 million, but then I would look at this and I'm like, oh, I think I could have found this if I looked harder. But the thing that I would say is that you have to uh, be patient in your um career and your auditing journey. A lot of success that people have, they don't come overnight. Even if, like a lot of people post that, oh, I've been two months into Web3 security and I found like 10 bucks and I'm like top one suddenly. You see these people and you're like, oh, what are they doing that I haven't done? Or like, why, why can they find so many bucks and I can't? But the thing is that you don't see what these people are have behind the scenes or what they have been doing behind the scenes. Maybe he, maybe he was like two months into Web3 security, but before that he had like 20 years in Web2 security. You never know. So, so the whole point is just that you have to be really patient in your journey your and journey. don't really compare to be to other people their results. Like although although sometimes competition and comparing is good, but if you compare too much, it can be really demoralizing. So what I like to tell people is that you should just be making sure that you are improving every day. So if you get your contest results, maybe if you finish like 20 of and your payout is like 100, not a lot. But if you compare this to your previous contest and you saw that you found like a higher percentage of bucks, that's a good result already and you're already improving. So yeah, it's just to be... So have small sure wins and, and get motivated by this. Your, compare yourself to previous self and not to other people. Yeah, exactly. And then, I mean, on the on the flip side is that you need to make sure that you are actually improving every day because some people, like especially on Twitter nowadays, there are a lot of people that just say, oh, if you keep grinding, you will make it in six months. If you put in the work, you will make it. But the reality of um, auditing is that if you keep doing the same thing for six months without making sure they are actually improving, there, there's actually a real chance that you will just stagnate and you will just be like not improving at all for six months. So you have to be smart about like what you're putting your time into and you have to make sure that you are sort of tracking your results and making sure that they are actually improving over time rather than just putting in the work and grinding and grinding but not really doing what state you're in or what um, your skill level is at. Yeah. Yeah, I totally agree. So put yourself a goal and track your prog progress and see that you can actually reach those goals and you're going towards these goals. It's very important. Don't just grind, grind without a goal and without checking. Thank you. Very good tips. I'm sure that it will help a lot of newcomers and beginners. 